explore a little bit of Red Cliff. Pick some roots. Some death roots. Alright. Oh. Hello, Tomas. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Um... But, yeah, what do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Yeah, heard We're what? We're on attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. And dying. What? Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, 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 I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. Can you, I is should it take about you to, to happen? Bantigan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. I want to explore the town first. Ugh, oh, never mind. Let's go. It's not like I wanted to look around or anything. Hello! My name is Splitty. I like that. Oh, it's you are there. Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. So... the uh, Yeah, wait, what? What has he said? That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Caelan risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the King. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Um, hell yeah, I can help you drive them back. Let's just go hell straight to it. pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Lucky Thank you. Hot. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Yes, now then, my lord. there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. All right, all right. Let's go. I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Luck be with you, dog. So Morgan disapproved. Ah, you know what, Morgan? Fine. Fine. You know what I'm gonna have to do? Where's that stupid necklace? There. No. Take that. Get. A fine gift. There. You have my thanks. I made it back. Love me. Love me. <laughs> I just want you to love me. All right. So. We've got a child, we've got a mom, we've got a bookshelf, we've got other stiff. Stiff. Caitlin. Get Let Caitlin. Mother Hannah. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou Why who seeks his forgiveness. What do you need? I wanted to click on the Blessed books, not on you. 
They're gone, dear boy. Blessed is gone the on a long trip. Sacrificed to the whole I fear. Oh God, so many people are talking. The make... You are of dwarven blood and a stranger amongst us, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Uh, yeah, is there a reason I shouldn't help? Perhaps not. But many dwarves do not hold the Chantry and its adherents in high regard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire village. These few are all who are left. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Um... Nah, I don't need that. I'm gonna go. Neither I don't need a, a blessing or anything. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need no hoodoo. Hoodoo, you voodoo. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. I want to go home. Where's Father? Why can't we go home? I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. Yeah, that kid's brave. So brave. And so more I books. Shall. Learning more things that I won't ever look at. So, hello, Irena. Good day. Good day. Okay, you don't want to talk to me. Whatever. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them oh. since. Oh! They're dead. You've heard of me? So... Here you go. Uh -huh. Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this... Oh, no. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot, too. Make his blessings upon you. Yeah, sure. Awesome, awesome. Like him to you, too. What? I still haven't leveled yet? Damn, I'm so close. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? Hello. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, why are you crying? Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but... I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Why would he run off? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. Grief can make us do many things that don't make any sense, I'm afraid. If he has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. You should get used to that fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. But night is coming. The monsters will return. All right, let's go outside. Sit here. Let's go explore a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, hey. We're going to explore a little bit. We're not going to talk to that dude yet. So we got more militia. We're gonna talk to you later. First, we're gonna look around because that's what I do. There's Caitlin's home. Wasn't that the person I just talked to? Hello? Is there a kid in here? Hello, child. Calling child. The legend of Callahan. Second floor. Anybody in here? There's a bookshelf. Cautionary tales for new adventurers. And that can't be lockpicked. 
damn it. Son of a biznitch. A baznitch. A boostach. Hello? Oh no. Hello, stay right in there. I'll go in the closet. Go away. This isn't your home. Young man, come out this instant. I. Yes, ma'am. Everybody listens to win. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the chantry if you really want. Yeah, what what were you doing here, dude? I I can't tell you. It's a secret. It's a secret. You could All right, I guess. I just Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was grandfather's. And grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought if I was brave like grandfather, I could use his sword and kill the bad people who took mother. Yeah, where is the sword now? In the chest. In mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. However... But I... Could you help use the sword to save the village? But... I can't give it to you. It... was father's. Caitlin would be so mad if I did. Perhaps I could help you and your sister then? You could? Maybe you could... give my sister money? She said if we had money, we'd be alright. Even if Mother is dead. Uh... Sure. I guess. I'll talk about it. Talk to your oh. sister. Alright. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. Oh, you're giving me the key now! Go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Thanks. So, do I still have to give you money? I mean, you already gave me the key. You're bad at this whole bartering thing. You, you, you bar, you, you do the exchange first. Like, you get the money. Uh, I thought there was the chest in here. There it is. Desire. The green blade. It's a main hand, tier 4, 9.1 damage. Support 6 damage versus beast. Critical chance, 2.6. Armor pin, 2.9. You know what? I like that. I like that. I like that weapon. I shall use it in my main hand. So I can just use the Oath Keeper in my offhand. Or is it main hand only? Oh, it's main hand. Alright. Never mind. So, Alistair, buddy, what are you using? You're using a tier 3, 8, Dwarven Longsword, Steel. That's 8.4. That gives you... This will give you more. So use that one instead. Good boy. Now what about your shield? You're using the tier 3 shield. Good job. Tier 3 armor. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Yes, yes, good, 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 good. Right. Oh, look at that sword. It's sweet. It's awesome. King of the world with this sword. Right. Delighted. Let's find some more quests to do. So I need experience. I'm like right on the cusp of leveling, and I would really, 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 really like to level. So. We can do that. That would be great. Plus there's a store, and maybe we can sell some stuff. Hello! Anyone here? No, there is not. Okay, hello, Mr. Barrel. There is lamp oil in these barrels. How did I get a quest update from that? What quest do I need that knows needs to know about? Oh. Find some use for the barrels of oil. Bare enough. Really? 
I just want to open chests. Ah! Why can't I open chests? That's what I want to know. Hello, barrel. Can I open your view right. and get hell fruit? Whatever. No swimming? I'm going to swim. I can't. It won't even let me in the water. I feel like I'm being held by a mysterious force. Eh, it's a lesser health pot. I don't even need those anymore. I just sell it. It's garbage. It's cabbage. It's cabbage. Nothing else? That was literally it. There's nothing else in this entire city. People are lame. Lame. Oh, Dwin's home. Let's go. Nope, oh, I'm gonna have to unlock it. Oh, I keep pausing it on accident. Oops. So, alright, Dwin. The door is locked. As if it's been recently repaired. I'm going to knock. There's no response. Hello? Fine. Here we go. I'm going in. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I knocked, you ass. Up here on the surface, you'll find we're all the same. And here that means unwelcome. Even a fellow lowborn like yourself. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Uh, oh. Yeah, what are you doing? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. So, why don't you help? Why? When did this town ever rush to my rescue? Um, you're a coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? But you should... you should go out there. The chances are Thanks. better. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can't I change your mind? Hmm. Now I have to admit, you have a better chance than most. At least another dwarf is likely to have a few rocks to rub together between their ears. What do you have in mind, then? Let's hear it. Well, how about I put a... No, Gorzamar? Really? Well, let's see what he says. Uh-huh. And that means exactly what? Nothing. I'm a surface dwarf. And if you're still welcome there, more power to you. Um, I'll put a good word with you for Bon Tegan. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. I... What else you got? I'm gonna... You know what? You know what? Fine. You want to be an asshole? So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Thank you. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Jeez. What a deek. Really? And you don't have anything that I can steal? Uh, but we can level up. And we have three points, and I'm a level nine rogue now. So let's see. We have dexterity, cunning, and constitution. I think I'm going to put those points in there. Yep. That looks good to me. And I think I'm going to go with... 26 dexterity. Huh. Huh. So if I went... I could just go ahead and straight up get... the next thing that I could... the next level I could go two points in that and one in this. That brings me up to 25 cunning. If that could give me my next point in dual weapons. 
I think. Yeah, dual weapons. What do I need for this? I have the twenty. I have enough cunning for that. Eighteen, twelve, level twelve. So that could be nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need thirty-six decks. So this will give me both bonus to critical chance as well as possibility of getting hit to inflict beating lacerations. Can you talk? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think that's good. So we have gotten that much. So we're doing good, and I'm hitting my keyboard. Yay! All right. What do we have next? So we got that guy going. Um. What else do we need? Is that was that it? We got, we got the oil. Just need to figure out what to do with it. There's a, there's a smithy. Oi, smithy! Go away. I can't. Curse you! Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Um, yeah. Who are you, dude? I'm the bloody blacksmith, and this is my shop. There's nothing of interest here anymore. Whoever you are. So you best move along. Um, I'd like to speak with you. Can I come in? Hmm? All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is <laughs> you like, don't make any trouble. Whatever. <laughs> I love that. Like, oh, okay. Let us go in and see what our smithy has to say. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Splitty, O Grey Warden, helping Ban Tegan. I am humble. A Grey Warden, is it? And <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny, you didn't sound like a dwarf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Um, uh, yeah, um, why have you locked the door? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. Ah! She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Um, so, what if I rescue your daughter? It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. Well, you know what you could do? Is, you could... Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. That was the whole point, you moron. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, hope lovely. For. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Shut and up, I pits. suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you just need don't anything fall done, in. well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Just don't fall into the smithy. God damn it, Morgan! <sighs> Keeping you happy is a pain in my ass. Do I have anything else that you would want? You want gold? I'll give you gold, just because. Interesting. No, that wasn't what you wanted. I know you like jewelry, but shit. Quit being a bitch. <sighs> right, do you have anything I can buy? I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Right, um. Talk business. Right. 
I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just show me the crap you got. Do you got... I need money. I need money. So I'll sell these two. Don't need them. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, tier two spell power. Huh. Tier three armor. He already has tier three armor. So he doesn't need either one of those. Um, he has a shield. Those guys' armor is better, I think. So don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these. The Sailor's charm. Electricity resistance. Yeah, I don't give a crap about any of this. And I already have... I don't need the silver ring. Don't need the novice ones. There. I'm back up to 11 gold. Hooray. And he doesn't really have anything I want anyway. Woo. So we have a quest now. When we get inside there, we have to look for this guy's daughter. So... That's not too bad, though. We can do that. Is she leveling up? Where yeah, she's getting now? experience. Okay, that's good. So, I'm guessing we're pretty good to go. I think. Oh, no. We got a, we got a tavern up here. We need to go take a look at that. Do, do, do. Gonna go to the... Does it up here? To the tavern. It's all the way up the hill. Ah, I wonder how many drunks fall down the hill d that night. Hello. How are you? Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. So you, like, show your bibs? What do you know about that elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... creepy. Um, how's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Oh. A pretty girl like you should oh, be able to do better. You think I'm pretty, should do you? Should be able to. Um... <laughs> Of course. Anyone would. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. So, uh... Should you be at Later the Chantry? On, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? Oh, why, uh... Yes, I am. That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. I should go. You're safe. Oh, well, hi. How are you doing? Wow. So we got militiamen. We've got upstairs. Which we can't go. And we got that elf. That we can talk to. Ooh, he looks. He looks like he's pretty good. What's going on back here? Anything back here? Anything I can pilfer? Anything I can steal? Nothing. Alrighty. That sounds great. So, when we come back, friends, we will talk to the elf, and then we will fight for the defense of Redcliffe. Because we're awesome like that. So, till then, friends, y'all take care. And, of course, have a good one.